Hello, this is Rob Jones with CalSurvey and Drafting Supply. Today we'll be talking about how to connect to the MiFi and VSN in the Access program. We're going to start in the Wireless Manager. To do that, go to Start and then Settings. Then go to Connections and open up the Wireless Manager. Now we'll connect to your MiFi device. Go to Menu and then Wi-Fi Settings and look for your device on this list. If you don't see it, make sure it's turned on and it is discoverable. Make sure it connects to the internet and hit next. The authentication and data encryption should be open and disabled. You'll have to configure your device accordingly. So you hit next and there's nothing to do on the third screen, so hit finish. Now we're ready to connect. So go ahead and hit connect and then wait for it to establish a connection. So once it does establish a connection, you can hit OK. And now we're going to go into the Bluetooth settings to connect to your rover. So go to Bluetooth settings, make sure your rover is on, and then hit Add a New Device. It'll take a little while to search and find it. Let's see, We're using an R8, so that's it. Hit Next. There is no passcode, just hit Next. And it's now connected. So we're done. Now we can hit OK and go back to the main menu. So just X out of everything until you get to the main screen, then hit Start. And now start up your Trimble Access program. We're using version 2013.31, which is the current release as of this date. So first go to Settings, and then go to Connect. We're going to start out with the Bluetooth. So make sure you have your rover selected, which we configured earlier in the Bluetooth settings, and hit Accept. Now go back into Connect, and go to your GNSS contacts. We're going to make a new contact, so hit the New button. Assign a name, and make sure the contact type is Internet Rover. Now change the network connection to Auto. Make sure your Use Entry box is checked, and enter your username as well as your password. Also make sure the connect direct to the amount point is unchecked. Now we're going to enter the IP address and it is 50.201.146.130 and the IP port is 5000. It's 5000. Once all that is configured, go to page 3 and hit store. So we're done with that. Hit Escape. And go to your Survey Styles. Now we're going to make a new Survey Style. So give it a name. Make sure the style type is GNSS. And hit Accept. Now go into the Rover Options. And make sure the Survey Type is RTK. Broadcast Format set to VRS CMR. And go to page 2. Select your antenna, so we're using an R8. We'll scroll up and select it. And go to page 3. Now if your device supports GLONASS, you can check that. Otherwise hit Accept. And we're done here, so go to Store. And Escape out of the screen. And we're done with the settings, so close it. So now we're ready to go to General Survey. Either open or create a new job. Just name this tutorial like everything else. You can set everything in your properties here. So we'll go to Coordinate System and select from Library. Make sure your California zone is the correct zone. Sacramento is zone 2. The U.S. State Plane 1983 is the system. So go to page 2. Coordinates is grid, that's fine. Project height, you can specify to whatever you want. We'll use 0. Hit Enter. And store the data. We're done here, so hit Accept and then we're ready to start the survey. So go to Measure and select your survey style tutorial. Now go to Measure Points and it will connect everything. And that concludes the tutorial. I'm Rob Jones with California Surveying Drafting Supply. If you have any questions you can email me at robertj at csdsinc.com.